Well, if you've ever asked, can you hear me now, or duck into a Starbucks for the Wi-Fi uh, and not the lattes, listen up. My next guest uh, wants to build out wireless internet and cell service in New York subways, car services, and eventually taxis, among many other projects. He joins us as part one of a three-day series that we're calling Startup USA, looking at venture capital money right here, right now. Alex Mashinsky is the CEO of Groundlink, uh, joining us now, and also you're, you, you're in very many venture capital funds, but for now, we'll identify you as the CEO of Groundlink because I know that's your biggest project and this is what you're talking about which is which is basically uh, creating ground you know having ground transportation services be sort of like Wi-Fi hotspots right I, is that that's essentially correct. it okay yes, we, we provide the ground transportation services worldwide and we've recently uh, uh, blanketed New York basically with free Wi-Fi we just announced a few days ago that we provide free Wi-Fi on the plane so mm -hmm. 3,000 flights a day through a partnership with GoGo so you can basically leave your office, be plugged in in the car, uh, have power in the car, have Wi-Fi, get on the plane, land. For that some probably people, sounds like heaven to some business users, and then, including me. You know, it'd be great. Um, okay, but but for you as a venture capitalist, how difficult was it for you, or is it for you, to raise money for a venture like this? Let's say compared to you know five years ago or whatever. Well, this is my seventh startup, so I've raised over 200 million and. Uh, uh, I can tell you this is the most difficult time I've ever had to raise money. Uh, over 200, I presented to over 200 companies uh, to date. Um, and luckily we, we've got several term sheets and we're about to close around. But, but uh, it was definitely the most difficult time of And I've why had. was that? I mean, I, you know, the obvious answer would be the financial crisis, but why exactly? Well, I, I think, uh, the, <clears throat> excuse me, I think the United States uh, traditionally was the, uh, the world leader in risk taking. And I think we're now in, this mi in the middle of this uh, uh, great divide where on one side uh, everybody's afraid of a double dip recession and then the second, uh, on, on the other side there's tremendous opportunities uh, to make investments and, and venture is not necessarily the, the best no. place to put money. That's no. the problem. Well, and have you had to put up more of your money to get That's others correct. on board? That's correct. And you know, when, when uh, uh, Ford debt is, is trading at 15 cents on a dollar, uh, 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 risky venture uh, looks like not a great investment. So, well, how lot, much more have you had to put up? Can well, you mil say? Millions of dollars. Okay, millions for, for dollars. every venture that you've tried. For every venture, uh, we, luckily, like the system in the subways that we talked about, uh, we, we've had to fund that for, for several years. Um, uh, Groundlink, we've had to fund for several years. Luckily, uh, Groundlink is a profitable company, it's cash flowing. So, you know, we. And how much were you asking for for Groundlink? We're raising $20 million. Okay, all right. But eventually you did get the investors on board. Yes. Okay. Uh, and Alex, because, I, because it's, you know, it's rare to talk to somebody who does invest in, in a lot of these types of new, kind of new companies, um, you know, you have said yourself that you kind of wish you had gone into Google, right? You, you learn from some of your mistakes. Yes. Um, and some are saying, you know, what's the next Facebook? What's the next Twitter? Right. The, the, the good news is that the internet is only in the first or second inning. So there's complete reinvention of the entire industry. And, and, and I think uh, uh, just like you, would, you probably would not invest in Facebook because you would think that uh, MySpace just owns a category and here comes a new player that completely reinvents what's going on. Uh, I think that the same thing will happen to every part of, of, our, of the industry because the internet reinvents everything. So there's a tremendous amount of opportunities to, to, to re-engineer, re-optimize uh, everything that's going out so there. So you're looking for your next Facebook then? I'm definitely, right now I'm focused on Growling because I think okay. it's a multi-billion dollar opportunity, but there's definitely an opportunity out there for entrepreneurs to, to come up with new yes. ideas and reinvent the world. Oh, the internet is oh so full of ideas, so there's never any shortage of that. That's Alex, for sure. Thank you so much for joining us. Appreciate it. That was Alex Mashinsky, the CEO of Groundlink.